Charlotte's number one country, 103.7 WSOC. <laughs> Jimmy Wayne, we have a list of questions here Ooh, I have to run down list. for you. And oh. this is going to make for great television since you have your TV crew in here with you. Mm. You're going to love that we open up this can of worms again. You told us a while back that you had one, count it, one date <laughs> really? with Carrie Underwood. One date. And we have got a list of questions from the listening audience. I call it Let's Be Nosy with Jimmy Wayne. And they want to know about the date. I'm going to ask the questions. We'll see how quickly you avoid them, okay? All you right. can plead the fifth if you want to. All right. How many times are we going to let him take the fifth? One time. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Wayne, on your date with Carrie Underwood, what did she wear? Jeans and a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice looking. Okay. Yeah, very casual. That's a typical guy. Oh, Jimmy Wayne's gonna take her to McDonald's. Mm okay. Did you kiss her? <laughs> Not on the first date. You, you, I thought you only had one date. Oh no, we. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, wait, wait, whoa, wait, 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 whoa, wait, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You He's guys, been holding you, out on us. You guys Jimmy. are digging, man. <laughs> 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 man, that tour tonight is gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We take the stage at 7.30, I'm telling you right now. All right. We got first base for Jimmy. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, did you go out in a limo or did you take a regular vehicle? I, I took my car. Yep. <laughs> what kind of car I, is I have a, a Yukon. Okay. Yeah. Here's a press question from Captain Jim. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> what went wrong? Because you're not going out there anymore. What went wrong? I, I think it was just you know the, you know you date people uh, for a few months and then you realize that it ain't working. Wait, now it went from one day to two days for to a few months. Yeah, we're finding out more. Uh -huh. Pretty wow. soon we're gonna find out they're actually married in Vegas and no one knows. No, I mean we it wasn't that serious. Yeah. We just kind of went out and went to eat and went to the movies a couple times and. Okay, who didn't call who back? Um. Who eventually dumped the relationship? Stop calling back. I don't think it was that serious. I don't think. Well, who stopped making dumping. the phone calls? Or did Carrie change her phone number? On you? I, <laughs> I think. I think that we the last time we were on the phone together, we both kind of just mutually decided that. Hey, I'll just call you whenever. All yeah, right, just good too. friends. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you serenade her? Did you sing to her? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. Was she ready on time? Actually, she was. Ready to go. Yeah, she had to wait on Jimmy though. Okay. <laughs> was there security? No, there wasn't. I was very surprised that where she lived at the time was 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 a little awkward to me because I don't think that she she really realized at the time how big of a star she was and yeah. And there was people pulling up in front of her house and she's like, Oh, they know I live here. <laughs> I'm like, mm. that's kinda cool. Did you guys go out to dinner? Yep, sure do, did. Do you eat meat in front of her? She's a vegetarian. I didn't know it at the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what went wrong! <laughs> I didn't know it at the time. And finally, who paid? I paid. Gentlemen. I did, I paid. I told her, buddy, you're a true gentleman. You're, you're a Southern true. gentleman, that. Yes, absolutely. I lost my money. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, opening up the show, our hometown boys in studio right now, and I hope we don't have another woman walk in the studio, because every time a woman walks in, we lose Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Well, well, you know, know what she's saying, right? I you know what she said. I know you She me. bust up in here and says, <laughs> you haven't seen me since I... You had, had work done. Had yeah. work done. And you were fascinated by it. And I was like, what work? She said, these. These. <laughs> I was like... Well, let me show it's a couple things here. Um, so, the show tonight, now, I want you to deliver the message. We've been telling everybody to get out there early and get your behinds in the seats because yeah. you got your camera crew here and you're filming the video for your new song. So, send the message out to If everybody. they show up early and they get in their seats, this is what's going to happen. The, the crew's going to be filming from the back of the stage forward so they can get some of the audience uh, in, the, in the video. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be part of the video for mm -hmm. the, uh, the new song, I'll Be That. So okay. if they're there, man, they, they'll show up on the, uh, you know, as many as we can. Get them on the video. I understand since they're shooting around town here, getting the feel for where you grew up and, and what you did, you went back and saw one of your teachers? I did. I went to uh, see my sixth grade teacher, who was actually my sixth grade teacher 
twice. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you, well, you know. Well, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, I was, uh, you know, Miss Friday. You know, everybody knows Miss Friday if they went to um, Central Elementary over in Bessemer City. I mean, because Miss Friday was one of those teachers when she whipped you, everyone knew about it. Because <laughs> the thing that they would do over there is they would open their door, teachers would open their door so the students could hear the paddle. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, yeah. We oh, miss those days! Oh. We need to bring those back! I'm, I'm telling you right now. You get. She, she said it yesterday, guys. Everybody can agree. Because there was no a pretense at all. I, I said, I, I got I got a whipping at least once a week by her for two years. <laughs> oh my it gosh. It was unbelievable. I mean, seriously, it was a leather strap. It was one of those straps that, you know, you like you sharpen your, uh, the barbershop sharpens his razor on. Yeah. yeah. It was one of those leather straps, but it was cut where she could have a handle on it. And she whipped me once a week at least every week. That is the same thing right now that Jimmy Wayne's record label does. He doesn't sell no CDs. <laughs> <laughs> they call him in with a letter whip and go, Do you believe me now? Get out there and push that CD. We're not making enough money, Jimmy Wayne. Come on. For goodness sakes, we're paying for a camera crew. You know what that cost? But it was cool, man, because yesterday I got a chance to, you know, it's been a long time um, since I've seen her. Yeah. And uh, sixth grade, man, and I got a chance to really tell her, to in her eyes, you know, that I was sorry for the things that I put her through in the sixth grade because I was, I'm telling you, man, I was just trouble. I was trouble in the sixth mm -hmm. grade. And you know, people think, you know, sixth grade, it's not that bad. But you know what? I mean, it is. You're giving a teacher a hard time, man. They, you know, I, I remembered it. I it's it's it kind of neat time. when you get to go back and you, you get to thank someone that was really a major influence on your life. She was definitely a, ma a major yeah. influence in my life. I mean, Miss Friday rocks. <laughs> she definitely the school rocks. called. They said they'd like to start the uh, Jimmy Wayne Gymnasium. They'd like to donate a half a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no, but I'll give to that paddling room. <laughs> <laughs> a a timeout room. Jimmy Wayne's name. It'll be Jimmy's newest song, Time Out. <laughs> Jimmy Wayne in town tonight. Brad Paisley, uh, Verizon Wireless Amphitheater. Tickets still available. LiveNation.com. Jimmy's opening up the show. Grab yourself a copy of the CD, Do You Believe Me Now, so Jimmy's record label doesn't have to beat him with a whip anymore. <laughs> Jimmy, we're looking forward to tonight. Thank you so much for coming We're so proud of you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. we really are. We're very, 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 very Thanks. proud of you. Thanks. And we're proud of, of, of who you have remained, Jimmy Thank Wayne, you. The, the guy awesome. that we know. Get out there tonight. We'll see you all there early. Saturday.